Hello, it's the folks from Extility today to bring you another tip to help you achieve transformational results in your business. Today's presentation is meant to be an introduction to Microsoft SharePoint. Today's presentation will not be a full training. Uh, typically, the trainings that we do for our customers on site last about three hours, but it is a good prerequisite for that training or potentially as a prerequisite for somebody who is going to be attending one of our SharePoint envisioning sessions and may not be familiar with Microsoft SharePoint. You're probably already using some common methods of collaboration in your business today. You might be collaborating through the use of email, file folders, or even calling somebody up on the phone. You may even be familiar with some of the cloud-based file sharing services. I believe that Microsoft SharePoint, especially version 2013, offers incredible functionality for those looking to collaborate with others either in their business or potentially even outside their business. SharePoint, at its core, is a collaboration platform. It is a web-based platform, which means that users access SharePoint primarily with a web browser. SharePoint could be shared with a small group, known as a project site or a team site, a large group, a company intranet, or even as a public website. SharePoint has tight integration with Microsoft Office products such as Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Who has access to SharePoint sites and documents is determined by permissions. SharePoint is made up of a set of sites and subsites. Those subsites or those sites are made up of web parts or apps such as lists, libraries, tasks, news feeds, or shared calendars. Users access those documents or, or pages via the use of URLs and hyperlinks. One of the most powerful things about SharePoint as a collaboration platform is that most simple changes are done through the use of a web browser and the familiar ribbon interface with Microsoft Office products. A library is the most simple and basic web part. A library allows the ability to upload documents and share documents, allow for version control, have either multiple people or one person work on a document and then share that document. Unlike traditional folder structures, SharePoint gives you the ability to tag documents and provide metadata to use for multi-dimensional search or viewing of attributes of documents. For more information on how to work with libraries or using versioning or requiring checkout for document libraries, please see our other YouTube videos. One of the most basic things I recommend for new users to SharePoint is that you go to your most commonly used libraries, use the ribbon, connect them to Outlook so it's easy to find those as a save as location in Microsoft Office product. One of my favorite features of SharePoint 2013 is SkyDrive Pro, now renamed OneDrive for Business. This allows you to sync documents with SharePoint and your desktop, and even allow to work online or view those documents offline. A list is the second most basic web part. If you see this list and think it looks a lot like Excel, that is true. It does have rows and commons, and it does have many similar properties to Microsoft Excel. In this particular case, we built a composite application, which is two web parts, a list and a library, in order to create a resume repository. We have metadata about individuals, including their name, office location, security clearance, etc. And this particular list allows us to sort the document based on those attributes. Tasks are also a very common use of SharePoint. And in the case of our company, we have a lot of different project sites. If you'd like to learn more about how to use task across many project sites, either in your personal site or by connecting task to Outlook, see our other video on using task 
in Microsoft SharePoint. Search is a very powerful feature of SharePoint. If you're familiar with search, it's not that much different than Google search, but it does allow you to narrow down the data that is in SharePoint by author date, type of document, metadata about the document, or even search the, doc the contents inside of a document. The social capabilities of SharePoint 2013 are a powerful adoption tool. Features included in SharePoint 2013 are discussions, news feeds, blogs, and you have the ability to follow sites, follow a document, follow a discussion, or even mention a colleague in a discussion or news feed. The business intelligence capabilities of SharePoint 2013 and Excel BI bring business intelligence to the masses. So for instance, I might want to take data contained in a SharePoint list, an Excel file, and possibly an accounting application, and create a dashboard of that information for use and decision making by our employees. So at this point, you're probably pretty excited about SharePoint 2013, and you might be wondering, how do we get started? Well, the most simple and easy way is to develop a SharePoint in Office 365 or SharePoint Online. If you're looking for help getting, getting started, we can help you with that. You might also have a SharePoint site already installed in your company. And if you're looking to customize that or upgrade that site, or even possibly look at whether or not you should move that site to the cloud, our cloud assessment services can help you with that. I wanna thank you for your time today and giving you the opportunity to bring you another tip to help you achieve transformational results in your business. If you should need additional help or training, please email us at info at